Today, I'm going to teach you how to lose fat without more exercise. Now, before I go on, guys, please hit that like button. So we often think, I want to drop fat fast, so I should do more volume of workouts. Now, you're going to burn more calories temporarily, and this strategy will work, but long term, if you can't sustain and you can't maintain it, it's just going to be another yo-yo effect, and you're going to rebound to where you started. So when it comes to burning more calories without more exercise, the first thing that you need to do is raise your basal metabolic rate. These are the calories that you're burning at rest. So say you're working out for an hour, you've got 23 more hours of calorie burning potential. And so what we need to do is raise how many calories that you're burning, not only during exercise, but also burning at rest. So how do we do that? Number one is that we need to build more muscle. But the thing that you have to understand is that muscle takes time. So seeing a 1% increase of muscle, research shows that it takes a minimum of 6 to 12 weeks to see at least 1% of increase in muscle. When you build more muscle, muscle is more metabolically active than body fat. In fact, it takes 30 calories to keep one pound of muscle alive, where it only takes three calories to keep one pound of fat alive. So when you're talking about your basal metabolic rate, you're going to burn more calories during workout because you have more muscle, but you're also going to be burning 10 times as much calories at rest if you have more muscle. But the key there is patience and consistency. Don't give up after four weeks. Don't give up after eight weeks. Give yourself a minimum of 12 weeks to see any sorts of muscle change. Now to build muscle, you actually have to challenge yourself with resistance. So if you're not pushing yourself or you're doing the same weights and the same types of movements, for instance, running on the treadmill at the same speed or running outside at the same pace and the same distance are going to work until you've reached a plateau. Now, a lot of you runners know that you can start a runoff. It's May, you start running, you burn a ton of calories, you see a ton of results, but by the time middle June or July hits and you've been consistent with your running, those runs take up less effort and they burn less calories. Well, the same thing happens in the weight room. Now, you can't just continuously push yourself and make progress with the weights because at some point in time, your strength is going to become so so small gains that you're not gonna be able to go from the 50s to the 60s. Like to even go from the 20s to, to 22 and a halfs is a significant jump. So again, you have to give strength time to build up. There's gotta be consistently pushing yourself, finding that plateau, let yourself plateau for a little bit and become until it becomes too easy, then you're gonna push yourself a little bit harder. Now also when it comes to raising your BMR or your basal metabolic rate, you have to eat more protein. Now carbs are super easy to eat and they're gonna eat up your caloric budget for the day, but guess what? Protein has a bigger thermic effect and requires more calories for the digestion process. So by eating more protein, you're actually going to consume more calories to break it down and digest it. Thus, you're going to be burning more calories without more exercise. Now we got two more. Don't just count on your workout to burn calories. Make 10,000 steps your new daily routine. Aim for a little bit more. Take active breaks when you're at work. You can go for a walk to the water cooler or better yet, if you're at home, throw in some jumping jacks between meetings. Set a timer on your phone. This way, every 20 to 30 minutes, you have to get up and you have to run in the spot. So don't just rely heavily on your workouts. If you're walking into the workout and it's the end of the day, like 5 or 6 p.m. and you've only got 2,000 steps, then you need to get moving, okay? Tomorrow, you need to walk into that workout at 6 p.m. with a minimum of 5,000 steps. This way, by the end of the day, instead of just ending with 10,000 steps, which is amazing, you're ending the day with 12 or 15,000 steps, which you burnt more calories without actually doing more active exercise. The last but not least is probably the most of the boring, but most effective of the tips that I've given you today is that you need to sleep more and you need to drink more water. Now water, you have to understand, is the key for digestion, absorption, and elimination. So if you don't have enough, you're slowing your metabolism. Your end goal for eating food is to get it in you process it, use it as energy, and get it out of your body as soon as possible. So if you're not drinking enough water, guess what? All those things are being limited. Sleep, if you don't get enough sleep, we all heard about hormones, and we understand that hormones can affect your weight loss, but if you're not sleeping, 
then you're not getting the proper amount of hormone released, which is leaving you balanced and refreshed for the day to take on more activity, to burn more calories. So there we have it guys, long video. I'm happy that you stuck it out right to the end. Give the video a like and in the comment section, I wanna know of these things that I gave you out today, which one thing are you going to implement tomorrow to increase the amount of calories that you're burning without adding extra exercise?